So Shadow Crypt is one you definitely want to run. This one's monster XP. You won't be able to see my first time XP because I've already done it on Reaper and Elite. But it'll still be good XP even my second run. And it's really confusing to people who are new to it. You always start out going east. I'm going to take a minute to bring up the paths to show people how they can figure it out. I also want to explain how these torches work. The torches here you have to light in the order of one, two, three. And the way that you tell which one to, to light is you just look at the fountains up here. See the fountains up here? There's like, there's two of them on each side and there's it's some combination of off or on. Well, if you know how to count to three in binary, which in binary, you know, that's one, that's two, and that's three. Zero, one, one, zero, one, one. That's one, two, three. And so if it's off, that's like a zero. If it's on, that's like a one. So that's zero, one, that's one. This is number one. You hit this one. One, zero is two. And one, one is three. One, two, three. That's the order that you light them in. They're just numbered. They're just numbered in binary instead of base 10. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go and use the power of the Google using the internet. And I'm going to type in DDO shadow crit paths. Okay? And this handy dandy article is going to come up. I'm going to switch to that view. This uh, article in DDO Wiki. DDO Wiki, the single best source of information on all things DDO. And there's only three. If we start off, it says always start off going east. And if you go east, you're either going to get a red room, a green room, or a blue room. This is a blue room. See how it's colored? It's blue. Okay. So we got the blue instance. So that's this one here. See, this says this is for the red room. This is if you got the green room. This is if you got the blue room. This is the path for 8 gears walkthrough. This is the path for 12 gears walkthrough. This is a shortcut from, from the start right quickly to the end. Because this is a maze. We're just going to do the 8 gears walkthrough. 12 gears is just if you want the bonus chest. There's some named items. We do the 8 gears walkthrough. And this tells you how to get there. I can bring that over so it's not hidden behind my face. So here is the start. And it says go east. To blue torches that's where we went you always start going east we got the blue torches now we're going to go west to water and then after that south to to green torches this is blue water see it's color coded blue water south to green torches north to green pyramid west to red torches then east to yellow columns west to yellow water east to red columns east to green torches then east to the end this is the map i'm going to have up on my second monitor that I'm going to be referencing to tell us how to get through it. All right, we're going to go west to Blue Water. Yeah, I got the blue hug already. Second one. And then we're going to go south. To green torches so here in the water you're just looking for a chest it's going to be in one of the corners actually it was right next to me already. i'm just going to show it real quick so the chest was there there's a gear in there but uh physics already got it so that's what you need to get from each room is a gear out of the chest after you could uh, and now we're going to go south to green torches And the map's no help because the map is just, it's the same rooms. It's like piled on top of each other. And it's just, you, the map is just really no help at all. Now we're going to go 1, 2, 3 again. 0, 1 is 1. 1, 0 is 2. 
and 1-1 one, one is 3. 1-2-3, one, got the chest. Grab the gear, good to go. Show them the banner too. Show them the banner. Yeah, the banner there, that's to the end fight. But we don't want to go there until we got the eight gears. Because you need the eight gears to like unlock these levers to open up the way. So we could go through there, but we wouldn't be able to advance past the next room. So here from, this is green torches. We're going to go north to green pyramid. We're going to fight a bunch of phase spiders. Firewalls and things like that work great because, you know, as they're phasing in and out, it's just going to hit them as soon as they phase in. All right, from Green Pyramid, we're going to go west to Red Torches. Okay, we need to light the torches again in the order 1, 2, 3. 0, 1 is 1. Physics got it. 1, 0 is 2. Physics got it. And then 1, 1 is 3. 1, 2, 3. And your chest appears. If you do it in the wrong order, it'll just reset them. Now we're going to go east to yellow columns. When you're doing this on Reaper mode, you gotta be careful because you can get Fear Reaper. You get Reapers up in the rafters, and if you get a Fear Reaper up there, you know you don't really notice it right away, and all of a sudden you got several stacks, and you're like, "Where's the Fear Reaper?" You're looking all around for it, but it's hiding up there in the rafters. Coom Wolf, good morning and welcome. Happy Friday. Okay, now we're gonna go west to Yellow Water. I'm searching around for a chest. There's the chest right there. You can see the, the letters come up when I Q search around or backspace in my case. Whatever you use to search non-combat targetables. Alright, now we're going to go east to red columns. Silver flame handle, nice. Now we're going to go east to green torches, which we've already done. So then we, the next one is east to the end. There's that banner. Remember I said that was to the end? And you're going to have a little fight here. It's kind of a big fight on Higher Skull Reaper. It can be kind of nasty. So these gears that we collected from those chests unlock these levers. There's four on each wall. And that opens the door top of the ramp. For these clowns to finish their little dialogue. The Shadow Knight, the Shadow King, the Shadow Lord. You know, all the guys from the flagging quest for this. Now, you don't need to be flagged to run this. Well, you do need to be flagged to run. You just gotta have someone in your party flagged to open it. And that's why Physics has his opener here. That opener is flagged, so since there's someone in the party that's flagged for it, we can enter.
even though I'm not flagged for it. I can enter it because someone in the party is. So that's why a lot of people keep openers. I have an opener for this because it's such monster XP. You know, so you know, a lot of times, like when, when Tanks and I just ran earlier, it was just the two of us, so I switched to my opener. He steps in. Once he's in, then I switch back to Voodoo and join him in the party, and then I can enter because he's already in. Now we do the unfight, and we fight uh, Brother Nereza, and I think you want to fight him on the light. I think he regenerates faster if you try to fight him in the dark. I'm not positive of that. And then you just click the Twisted Apocryphal to finish it. And we got almost 26,000 XP for that, and that was my second time running it today. So it's, it's, you know, I think I got over 50,000 for it on Reaper. Or maybe even more, I can't remember. But it was just huge. Plus you get XP for, you know, there's lots of rares along the way. And this is just a wonderful, wonderful XP quest that can be done very quickly if you know how. And even if you don't know how, you just go to the wiki article like I showed you that will tell you the path through it that's most efficient for whether or not you want to do the 8 or 12 gear method. And that's Shadow Crypt.